All right, folks, today we're going to answer a very, very important question, a question that I get more often than I probably should at this point, which is, Jackson, should I spay or neuter my animal companion? Should you? Man, we are about to get catified up in here. Let's go. Now, let's break it down to the questions that I get asked most often. It's not just, should I spay or neuter? The question usually revolves around marking behavior. Uh, cats who are just d bound and determined to get outside, and when they do, bad things happen. You can't stop a sexually mature cat from wanting to roam. For the males, they have a, a hormonal prime directive, which is to populate their territory. And for the females, they'll be rolling around on the pavement, they'll be leaving scent everywhere. And how do I get my cat to stop peeing all over the house? Most of the time, I'll tell them, take that black light of yours, go outside the house, and I bet you'll find evidence of neighborhood cats, feral cats, that are also marking against your house. So it's a pretty normal reaction on your cat's part to say, hey, hey, I draw the battle lines right here. This is my place and I'll pee on this wall while you're peeing on the opposite side. The problem is, you know, you've got a hormonal war on your hands and the only way to deal with that is spaying or neutering. I can't fix the behavior unless we fix the animal. That's, that's the bottom line. A lot of folks say to me, yeah, well, I've heard that if I spay my cat or if I neuter my cat, they, they tend to get really fat. And then, no. That, that's not a cause and effect. What tends to happen is that they spend all this time that they were outside roaming inside the house. You don't occupy their time by playing with them and instead they are now eating way too much and not doing anything and that's why they get fat. So as long as you pick up the slack in terms of giving them activities and you won't have a fat cat post-surgery. You asking me how do I get my cats to get along if one of them is not spayed or neutered, if all of them are not spayed or neutered, I can't help you. Uh, the other thing that, that folks don't realize is that a sexually mature animal has infinitely greater chances of cancer, namely testicular cancer, ovarian cancer. It's going to happen more likely than not. I mean, a lot of my clients will say, ah, it's so invasive. And then there's also, I wanted my cat or my dog to have one litter before I spayed or neutered them. Or, I wanted my children to see the miracle of birth. You're not thinking about these very basic statistics. These are statistics. I didn't make this up, okay? Uh, we have 700,000 animals, cats and dogs, born on a daily basis in this country. Six to eight million animals are booked into shelters every year. Now, we are doing a lot better than we were just 20 years ago, but that means that we're still killing three to four million of those uh, animals every year because there's not enough homes for them. That amounts to one animal every 11 seconds that's dying in a shelter. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. We have a job as people who love animals, and that is to stop killing them. And I know you love animals, otherwise you wouldn't be watching me right now. So I am begging you for the, the sake of your animal's health, for the sake of the health of the entire population of cats and dogs, for the people who have the unfortunate job of having to care for these animals in the shelter system, please, please, please get your cat spayed or neutered. Now if you're telling me you can't afford it, there are programs all over this country, all over the world as a matter of fact, that will help you to afford it. Community-based programs where you don't have to pay practically anything. I mean, you should pay something. I mean, if you have an animal in your life, this is minimum care. Now that's it for me today, but I know you guys are gonna have lots to say about this. Uh, I wanna hear about it on social media like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. You know I'm always looking at that and responding there. And there is the Google Hangout Live from the Cat Cave coming up very soon. That is September 30th, Tuesday. Uh, like I want to hear what you have to say about spaying and neutering uh, and, and adoptions and what we can do to bring down the numbers of euthanized animals in this, in this world. All right, folks, that's it for me. Until next time, all light, all love, all mojo to you. <laughs> uh, you see this?
beautiful little shirt I'm wearing right here. Remember Me Thursday. Remember Me Thursday is coming up on Thursday, of course, September 25th. It's your chance to do something very simple, and that simple thing is light a candle. Uh, we're trying to light up the world for orphan pets. And that is to say that uh, we want to remember all of the millions that have died, and we want, to, we want to acknowledge that there are millions more out there who can find forever homes if we do our due diligence if we spay or neuter. So it's very simple. Go to RememberMeThursday.com. Also, you can follow it on social media uh, by using the hashtag LightForPets. Uh, I want to see you do your part on this one, okay? <laughs>